All right, guys, let's dig in. So today's topic, it is literally about getting deals in a downward market. So if you don't know, right now we're in a little bit of a, a dip wherever you are. We're based in New Jersey and a little bit of Pennsylvania and a little bit of Florida. So we are in a few different markets. It's like this month, especially in last month, it's, it could be brutal, right? Because you have, um, it's already a down market. And then normally around this time, just because of the holidays, people don't really, even people in distress want to kind of like use the holidays to not think about it. So if you have that plus already a down market, um, it could get rough, right? It yeah. could get rough to get contracts. Yeah, in our experience, even when um, last year where the market was completely the opposite, where it's a great market to, to buy and sell, even in the holiday season, we have saw obviously a dip in contracts and deals because of what Ronnie's saying, right? Imagine you guys are thinking about Christmas, buying gifts, hanging out. If you really have to worry about selling, it must mean there's some serious distress going on. And unfortunately for us, you don't really get, well, good for people, you know, you don't really get too many calls around the holidays because of that. Yeah. So. What you want to do when the, the market is going down is first understand it, right? You want to make sure you know the market's going down. So when you're underwriting your deals, setting comps for yourself, when you're looking at a deal, you're not looking at it from three to six months ago of properties what they're selling. You're looking at the last maybe 30 to 60 days, right? And the reason why is because if the market's going down, that means houses are selling for less because people just aren't willing to pay as much money because of interest rates, because of whatever's going on in, in your area. Or if your market hasn't taken that much of a dip, hopefully it doesn't but it, it seems like it probably w probably will. So yeah, th that's the current state of the market. And then just to get more deals in a downward market, you got to get more creative. So what we mean by that is there's a few ways to get more creative, right? You can always offer a cash offer, which everybody's doing, or you can offer a creative offer, which is like seller finance, subject to owner financing, which maybe means you could pay a little more and get out of that cash buyer pool. And then the third option is to maybe list the property with them so that you're, if you have a realtor, you're monetizing every lead that comes in the door. Official is, uh, he took 5,000 of our leads in our system mm -hmm. and he wanted to see, um, what happened to those 5,000 leads. Um, did they get sold? Are they still like kind of up in the air? Like, where are they? And what we found out is that out of 5,000, um, leads that we have in our system, 143, um, we're listed and sold. We're listed and sold. Like, what was it, like 10? 10 were bought. 10 were bought off market. From right? somebody like us. So, like, I'm not, don't you, I, I say I, would, I wouldn't use that as, like, a the, like a clear cut determination. Like, oh, like, we can't get off market deals. The chances are slim. No, you could have got 10, right? At least it tells you, like, out of 5,000, only 10 sold off market. Like, just know, like, yeah, it's, it's hard out here. Yeah. Like, and that's a good indicator for everyone because that tells me and Jack are like, oh, shit, we really have to work hard and we really got to make sure that when we get an opportunity, we have to make the best of it because there's not a lot of, a lot of opportunities. If there's only 10, me and Jack are going to be the ones to get those 10. But keep in mind, it's 10, it's 10 like that everyone's going for. So you, you, you got to really hone in on that. So I, I just wanted to make sure like you guys understood that we understand that it's hard out here, but you got to keep going. And Jagger talking about being creative is definitely one of the yeah. ways to do it. So I guess for this video, Ronnie said to the market, now we'll go to stage two. Mm -hmm. So basically getting more creative with your offer is, is going to help you get deals in a downward market. And there's a few different ways to get more creative with your offers. First and foremost, it's just listening to the seller and understanding their needs because you can always get creative with helping them find a place, clearing out the property or doing something specifically for them, which can definitely help you stand out compared to other offers, right? So option one, just figure out what they need. If you already did that, you know, a cash offer is obviously, you know, the main option, then you can do like a creative offer, or if that works for the seller, which is like a seller finance, long-term buy or short-term subject to, or, um, you know, something in between that. And that's somewhere you can pay a little bit more money than maybe what the house is worth or what other investors pay because you're doing something creative to help benefit both parties. Then option three, if you have an in-house realtor or someone you trust, you can have them list the property if they need too much money for a cash offer. So then now every lead that comes in, you're trying to give them multiple options, right? One's cash, one's creative, and one's listing. So that every lead that comes in the door, you have an opportunity to monetize it. Just to go back to that example, right? We have 5,000 um, leads that Michael took from our system. 143 were listed and sold, right? All right, maybe I'm an acquisition manager. Like I personally don't have a license, so I can't list things on the market. But maybe the real money's made. Maybe I, I asked for a thousand dollar referral fee, and I got a hundred and forty three 
people that were willing to get it listed and got the property sold. Maybe that's how I'm going to make my money these next couple mm -hmm. of months because that's what the market is doing. So going back to what Jagger's saying, like it's figuring out what the person needs, the, the seller needs, and how can I monetize that? And the way you do that is by bringing more value than how much you're making, mm -hmm. right? If I'm looking to make a thousand per transaction for referral, how do I make it so valuable that it's a thousand dollars means nothing to the seller and the agent, right? So that, that's what you have to immerse yourself in and you have to be able to be more resilient. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, time, things are hard. That's okay. Like what we're, what's going to happen is the people that like were thriving in the last two years, they're all out. They're going to get wiped out, which is great because people still need people to buy their houses. Mm -hmm. Right. So you're just going to have more opportunity, but you just got to survive this dip. Yeah, guys. So like Ronnie touched on, like being resilient, that's like a skill set, you know, as a salesperson or a business owner, you're going to have to need, you got to have some tough, some tough skin because you're going to get a lot of no's, right? Like there's so many times where we even think it's a good deal that just the seller, you know, it just doesn't work out. And you can't, even though there is a, a scarcity of deals right now where there's just not as many you feel like you can't pretend that this is the you can't feel like this is the last option right because once you start showing desperation to these sellers they're not going to want to work with you even more and then now that last deal that you needed you're not even going to get so make sure you go with the abundance mentality even if you don't have the abundance because it's needed for you to have your process and understand like hey i might need this deal but you really need someone like me to buy your house because of how much value i'm bringing to you so always keep that on your mind even in a downward market you guys are the prize you're the value you're the one helping them it's just now understanding hey i gotta have a sense of urgency on every single lead that comes in so that we don't miss these that's really what we're talking about, right? Like it's okay for the deal not to work out, but it's not okay for you to just miss it because you just didn't hear the trigger words that they're serious or they're ready, but don't go down the path of being desperate and begging people to buy their house to feed your family. No, no one cares. No one cares. We're here to help people if they want to be helped, not sell them if they don't want to be sold. Uh, guys, if you really want to learn more about that, we have another video on leaving the door open. It'll kind of teach you how to lock up these deals oh, to yeah. get more creative. And also, if you followed us this far, you know, just like and subscribe. Oh, my God, yeah.